used to this whole recording my life thing man you know i spent most of my time trying to stay out the spotlight now y'all want me in it all right so fit check man you got the nike force fleece man uh this thing is taxing it was expensive over on this side you know probably get this for like 50 60 in the states but over here it's one something uh you know i got these jeans from a place called i think mrp or something it's a price place like that i i don't know I don't really remember how much they cost me, you know, I got the 12s. And I know I'm a little bit tacky. I would normally rock like my my black text with these, man, but I just ain't had a, uh, the fortitude, man. It's rainy and I just wanted something that I could that I could not mess up. All right, so quick flip of the camera so I can show y'all the crisp and then we'll get up out of here. All right, so man, South African apartment is usually pretty nice, especially when you're in the city, man. You know, waterfall, shower. Uh, let's check the water pressure. Yep, pretty good. You don't really have to worry about it. It's, it's like winter or going into, I guess I, it's going into summer, but it's still quite windy. But you know, the place is, the place is cool. The place is cool. Uh, a real artsy feel to it. Damn, I got a piece in the oven. Damn, I forgot about that. All right, one second. Hope I ain't burn my damn piece up. Shit, probably crispy. Oh, no. To perfection. Let me go back up here and show y'all the top real quick. We can get up out of here. All right, so this is the bed, as you can see. If you watch my little snippet <laughs> at the beginning of the video, then you already seen all this stuff. Poke it time. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's get up out of here. What's going on, Pookies and Ray Rays? It's your man, Passport Pookie, and today we're gonna be talking about the VNA Waterfront. So the VNA Waterfront is one of Cape Town's top attractions. It's one of my favorite places to hit up. It's a mall slash oceanfront touristy area where you can ride the Ferris wheel. You can go shopping for luxury brands. This place has Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, all that. I mean, Fabiani, it just depends on what you went to, they have it. This is probably one of the few places in Cape Town where you will find that. Also, the best time to hit this place up will be Thursday through Sunday or the first of the month. The first of the month, every place is lit in Cape Town because everybody gets paid that big check. You know what I mean? I actually recommend a hotel called Fountains Hotel, which is not too far from the VNA waterfront. That hotel will put you like right in the middle of the CBD area so you won't miss out on anything. You'll be near Long Street when it's time to party, and then you'll be near the uh, area where VNA waterfront is so you can go and get your clothes when you're going shopping and all the above. Now, this place right here is a high tourist area. So just be prepared to pay that foreign tax or a high dollar for whatever it is you purchase. We here, y'all. Oh, 
All right, so for all my single fellas, this is where you're gonna attract the sack chasers, man. You have to have some guapo to deal with a lot of these women. These are where you're gonna find your upper class colored women, your white women, and your slay queens. Obviously, your foreign women, but you don't come to South Africa to date non South African women. And for my ladies, it's gonna be where you find all the fellas who got the bag. This is where you're gonna find them at if you look. So, me personally, I would recommend about $3,000, $1,000 for room and board a thousand for party and miscellaneous as long as you don't go overboard and then your last a thousand will be for like transport and you know just a little extra fun in case anything goes wrong i.e lose your phone or passport or anything in that nature how's that girl back there smiling at me like that <laughs> look behind you Hey. All right, heads up. I'm not a booty bandit, man. The chick in this video actually was trying to get my attention. Uh, I cut that part out the audio and I'm doing the voiceover now and stuff like that. So that's why I had the camera. On. I was laughing and joking in the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about transport, right? So for anybody staying longer than two weeks, I would definitely recommend getting a, I mean, getting a rental vehicle. There's Hertz and a uh, bunch of different rental vehicle agencies here. You can get it at the airport, so forth and so on, because those Ubers add up, especially if you're somebody single, you're going to be Ubering people back and forth to your crib, or you're going to be trying to explore all over South Africa. $5 here, $5 there, $10 here, $10 there, add up quick. And you can easily spend $50 a day in South Africa. Also, the roads are easily drivable. All you got to do is go to, uh, go through your local uh, car insurance back in the States, wherever you're coming from, and ask them uh, how do you go through about getting the international driver's permit. I went through AAA to get mine. It was simple. It lasts for a year and it allows you to drive in South Africa. <laughs> Heads up, y'all. On Thursday, they got a deal on the pizzas. Wednesday. Wednesday. And you need to have a good time. You need to be I don't know if you could tell by the video, but Cape Town, especially this area, is super diverse. I'm talking about Ethiopians, Germans, Chinese, Black, White Americans, so many different nationalities and ethnicities, man. This is crazy, man. Super, super diverse area. So, it's really, really similar, in my honest opinion, to California. So that's my thoughts on it. Y'all, y'all know it's not a mall run without stopping by Krispy Krisms. I'm just gonna get six, bro. I ain't trying to do too much. Uh, can I get six original? Hey, how are you? I'm good, you. Two six and then two separate. Anything else? I'm crushing it. Hell, you got time. and Ray Ray. So if you made it this far, hit that like button. For all the new people out there, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, you know, share this to somebody who may need it. Somebody think about coming inside. This is the end of the video. Catch you on the next one.